This is a place in Balboa Park that hardly anybody sees. It's where you find parts of historic buildings in the park. Some date back a century ago. Park ranger Kim Duclos is showing us. Look at all the work that the, these craftsmen put into things. It's, it's really rather remarkable, all this low bas relief. Those concrete orbs, they were taken down because of earthquake standards. They used to be part of the California building a hundred years ago at the Panama, California Exposition. The new canal meant more ships would be coming, more business and tourism. The exposition was a chance for states and counties to have their own buildings and set up displays. This building featured New Mexico and this one, Kansas. And there were a number of states that came. There were also a number of counties in California that absolutely wanted to showcase what they had to offer the world. The county of San Diego had its exhibit in this huge building, along with six other counties from Southern California. Kim says San Diego County had a lot to show off. A lot of business opportunities, not the least of which, and quite arguably the most, agriculture. In fact, outside the county's exhibit building, there was a citrus orchard and formal garden that featured thousands of plants of many varieties. Just to demonstrate that almost anything you put in the ground would grow in Southern California. The building itself was one of the biggest and most beautiful at the exposition, but there's nothing left of it today. Not even here at what Kim calls the park's boneyard. So what happened to it? It burned down on a November day in 1925. And by strange coincidence, the fire happened just as the building was being set up for the annual fireman's ball to be held there that very night. And so eventually that the building was condemned and ultimately raised and there was kind of a blank space there for many years until the San Diego Natural History Society ultimately in the 1930s built what would become their permanent natural history museum. The museum today is right where the county's building was in 1915. And what about the formal garden with all its plants and trees? It's gone too, Kim says, except for this one tree. Really the last remnant of that garden, this magnificent Morton Bay fig tree that is now over 100 years old. It's the biggest tree in the park now and one of the biggest of its kind in the country. So while the county's building is gone today, this tree is still around from the county's exhibit garden a century ago, still proving every day that things really do grow well in San Diego County. What a great gift to have sent down to us from the Panama, California Exposition. In the County News Center, I'm Suzanne Bartol.